Hello, and welcome back to Tale of Two Wastelands. I'm Vic, and you're watching yet another Let's Play channel. So here's the deal. It turns out that the brain damage and the losing all your levels and the losing all your stuff all came from a mod called Benny Humbles You and Steals Your Stuff. And I could have lived with, in fact, I anticipated having all of my stuff stolen. Um, but losing 20 levels, 20 plus levels of XP was too much. And the brain damage was just insult on top of injury. So I turned the mod off and I redid the Union Station stuff. And now here we are. And now I get to have all my stuff, which I'm pretty ambivalent about, actually. Um, the the XP and the special points way way more of a problem. I just I, and, and I mean I've talked about this before. I do not like having things that I've earned taken away from me, especially permanently. Um, so one thing that's different about the playthrough is that I was distracted when I came out of the Doc's house and I might have missed my chance to talk to Victor. So we might have to rehash some of that conversation when we catch up to him. But in the meantime, we might as well check out the saloon. And if I'd been playing on my own, I might have been more... Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. More inclined to just roll with the XP thing, but... I spent so long earning those 20 levels and I have so much further to go before I finally get to get all of my stats and pick up the last of the perks that I really want. So I just, I, I didn't like it for the show format. Um, Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside behind the saloon. Oh boy. What do we got here? I don't even know if that's a good skill magazine, but I am willing to compromise my karma for skill magazines. Got anything else tasty? A whole lot of bottles. An unorthodox method of storing a revolver. Who am I to judge? Are we gonna Are we gonna shoot at your building? Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Do I have to use your rifle? Varmint rifle. All right. Excuse me? No. That's the right idea. Look down the site. That's what I'm doing. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Nice shot. Imagine well, that. Start, but I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? I'm in. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast of short ways. Let it not be said that I am among those that skip tutorials. Man, I wish I had a dog meat. Maybe one of these days I'll find another companion. Where is this, uh... I guess it's probably Good Springs Source. Okay. Well, I don't need to wait for you then. So if I recall correctly, there are two routes that we could take to pursue our vendetta against Benny. Oh, speaking of Benny, um, I'm sure that there is somebody out there that's like, well, you know, I think it's really cheesy that you kept all your stuff in your brains on account of you got all headshotted in the opening sequence. Um, 
but check it out. I can make that make sense. See, I wasn't actually like headshot headshotted like my brains all stayed in my brain pan it just impacted my skull and knocked me out and then they buried me ta-da hear that up on the ridge behind me there we got some geckos to clear out bunch of little monsters is what they are seems like doc mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else let's see if we can get a little closer if we move quietly we can get the jump on them more likely to hit something vital that way all right sonny Oh, I did just come from that way. Okay, you're on. Go give them hell. Hell I shall give them. Badoink. Oh, and there's another one. Tell you what. Badoink. Mm-hmm. I forgot they stood on their hind legs like that. Is that it? <gasps> Look at that! Radiation free water. And? Did I get good water? Demo now. Hell yeah! 58 clear waters. Clear waters sounds like good waters, right? I think I might have more of a fence around my watering hole. See? If it were me. Getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Sure. Shouldn't take like more caps. than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Why'd you give me 22 long rifle? Does varmint rifle take 22 LR? I suppose it must, right? One for you. One, we'll give you two two for you, and we'll call that good. Oh. Uh, but what about the, what about the stuff? This woman just runs around killing geckos and then doesn't take their stuff? Hey, wait for me. Where the heck did she go? I'm missing it. What do we got here? A settler. A doink. come here like you done I'd be a goner for sure I came up here to draw water but here you should have what I got you look thirsty oh well uh thanks I didn't need that but uh well it's not like I'm gonna not take it especially since I wasn't even given the option All right, Sonny, uh, now I will receive caps. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Hell yeah. All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. All right, I'm a meaning to go visit the graveyard any dang way. 
Hey there. Yeah, you just keep on limping, lady. I think I mentioned this last time, but I do kind of like the idea of the trip to Vegas taking three years. It would be kind of fun to have a mod where you actually, like, play out those three years. Um, you know, constantly getting... Uh, uh, what? Any lawman that comes after me won't have it. Damn, running low on smokes again. Any lawman that comes after me won't have it easy. Okay. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Uh, getting held up at all, like, the breakdowns on tracks and stuff, and maybe you have to, like, stop and fight your way through some raiders or negotiate with some townspeople to get supplies. <laughs> I think, that, I think that could make for a fun game. Um, maybe even do things like... Eh, uh, like fix up the... train along the way. Howdy, partner! My yeah, we did that already, so I'm just gonna... Happy trails! Okay. And, uh... Oh, apparently this is his house. Got anything good in your house, bucko? Looks like I can have it if I want it. So that's nice. Hush. I guess old Victor's rough on toilets. Okay... It'd be nice if I could... Those windows look like that house is on fire, don't they? What was I saying? It would be... It would be nice if I could find a place to live. I don't remember if there is a player home in Good Springs. Alright, so I'm looking for Xander's. There's some Xanders. And I'm looking for Brocks. I'm not going to find Brocks around here. But I might find something else. You know, vaguely upsetting. Those little shits do like to bounce around, don't they? Tell me I'm shooting the leg of the chair. I must be. Better. All right. A few basic goodies to be had. We'll hack that computer in a minute. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Might as well turn my light on. No, we're not going out there just yet. Okay. A Mantis Uthica. Oh, hey. Don't even have to steal that one. All right. Uh, apparently, I had a password override. Thanks. And I believe we're all done here. Wait. I didn't check this stuff out at all. Coffee mug. I don't need coffee mugs. I'm just reflexively grabbing stuff. Brox is what I need, and they are up by my grave. Yep, 
Yeah, that window looks like that house is on fire. And there's just a little bit of New Vegas over there. We'll get a good look at it from my grave, which I almost called my campsite, which is pretty dark as euphemisms go, but not, uh, not inaccurate. I guess most of these houses are boarded up, huh? I did really appreciate the uh, base building mechanic that we got in Fallout 4. I miss being able to build stuff. More Scorps? Come on, I can take you. Oh, not Scorps. Wow. Boop. Why are these guys so hard to hit? It's not like they're tiny flying insects or something. Thank you. Y'all are gross. I don't have a shovel. I left my shovel behind. Well, there's gotta be a shovel up here, right? Snow globe. Are you kidding? I had a 90% chance, and I still muffed it. Well, uh, there are many like it, but I think that one was mine. Oh yeah, water bottles. I'll take them. No, you come here. Come on. Okay, there she is, Vegas, looking distinctly Vegas-like. Um, but I haven't found any Brocks yet. Maybe this is a Brock. There we go. Can't believe I don't have a shovel. Okay. So I think as early talk, I think earlier I started talking about the fact that there are two routes through Fallout New Vegas. If I'm going to pursue my vendetta against Benny, and I think then I was cut off. Um. The route that I'm meant to take is to head south and loop the long way. Um, because the alternative route to go straight through is full of high level enemies, including Death Claws. Now, I guess I could take advantage of all of these levels and guns that I've got. and maybe push through the short way. Certainly not something I've ever done, but I feel like, I feel like following the story. Maybe, maybe I'll come back later and put and do the push through. What do we got here? Oh, is this the one? Yep, it's the one.
that's an Indiana Jones reference. And I got that because I took the Wild Wasteland. Which maybe I would have missed out on if I hadn't decided to reset because when was I supposed to have taken that? Also, where the hell did Sunny go? I'm just like running past a bunch of stuff here. Okay. Why are we way out here, Sonny? We don't need to be learning bushcraft in the actual bush, you know? Let me see what you got. <clears throat> yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. <laughs> there we go. Make two. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Any work available? Not in Good Springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. I already cracked that safe. Oh. Well, go ahead and keep the stuff I gave you anyway. It'll be more <clears throat> useful to you than me. Sure. Um... I have to go now. Until next time. Alright, so... Somebody back in town wants to say hello? Is that what I heard? Yeah, that's fine. Makeshift Great Con Camp? Great Con Encampment. Why are those right next to each other? And I... Is this the, the back route that's so dangerous? Or is it going this way? Whatever. I'm supposed to go to Prim, and I think Prim is down here. So let's go the wrong way for a minute. Bye-bye. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. What the hell is your problem? You, probably. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. I overheard your argument. Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Where is he now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. What are you going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. What's a powder ganger? Chain gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Sounds like they need to be genocided. Uh, never mind. All right. 
I'm trying to track down the people who attacked me. Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Did they say where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Why is that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. So where were they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Want me to take a look at your broken radio? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Anything interesting happening on the west side? There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust-up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. Yeah. We'll get to that. Shimmo you have for sale. Got a special discount for you, after what you've done for us. Well, that's neat. <laughs> Too bad about your selection, though. I have to go now. Be careful out there. All right, now where is this radio? There it is. Repair. And then turn off. All right. Let's go see what Ringo's about. Hey. Maybe we can make him a star, eh? I want to get into a fight with some powder gangers, though. I wonder if that invisible one that I bumped into is related to that stuff somehow. It's a nice little spot. Not a lot of square footage, but, you know, up on a hill, overlooking the town. Probably got great sunrises. Hey, feller. That's close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? I'm not an enemy. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. Let's say we start over with a friendly game of Caravan. You know how to play? Did you know there's a man named Cobb looking for you? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. What are you going to do about them? I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Maybe I can help. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... I mean, I've already been in a grave once, and frankly, mine looks sort of spacious. Uh, but I'll ask around. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Now I'm just gonna take this little... everything that I like in here. You're know, like, what are you doing with all those empty bottles? Because apparently I'm the only person in the whole wasteland that knows how to reuse a bottle. I see you. Gimme. Um, how does healing powder stack up against stim pack? These are things that are best to know before one is in a gunfight. Healing powder? Personality minus one? And 
1 HP for 20 seconds. So, it's like drinking two waters. Because that sucks. What is it about my load order that has screwed up all of those healing items? And what? how am I going to fix it? I went to the Discord and tried asking, and it's way too busy to get anybody's attention unless you're a big old whiner. And then you don't get the kind of attention that you really want. And I tried to get the Gek to load, and it just doesn't. I think it's just too many mods to handle. And of course, reading through the names of 350 mods, one at a time, to try and figure out which one might do it, not a, a winning proposition. But that's enough whining from me. We're all out of time. So come back and see me again tomorrow. And I will see if I can't recruit Miss Smiles to get in a fight with some powder gangers. Talk to you soon. She turned the radio on again. She didn't turn the radio on. <laughs>